Using a carving rotary router bit, carve 4.5 mm in depth into the 6 mm clear acrylic. Peel off the 3 meters adhesive tape and apply on the acrylic. When turning corners with the strip LED, make sure not to bend the strip LED too much. Apply the strip LED to whichever shape or letter you have chosen. When getting to the end of the shape, make sure to cut where indicated. If the strip LED has been stuck wrongly, don't worry you can reapply it back on. Continue to the rest of the shape. Turn on the soldering machine and leave it for 1 to 2 minutes to heat up. Drill a hole using a carving rotary router bit. For this example we drilled a hole at the start. Split the wire down the middle and cut roughly 1 cm of the outer wire. Solder the wire to the strip LED. Push wire back into hole and apply strip LED back on the acrylic. Using a jump wire, connect the remaining strip LED that are not connected to the main wire. Solder the jump wire, connecting the same polarity from each end of the strip LED. Connect the end wire and power supply wire to a Wago connector. Turn on power to test. If the strip LED doesn't turn on then, the wiring will most likely be the problem. Check for any fault in the wires. Using a curved face chisel cut out the end of the cover to match the shape of the acrylic. Apply the cover to the acrylic. This could be done by applying pressure on one side and lifting and squeezing down into the cracks on the other side. When having to go for a steep curve, using a V-shaped chisel, cut a small amount of the cover to allow it to bend around the shape. Repeat for the rest of the shape. Turn on power and enjoy.